guys, welcome back to my channel, Black Sales, Season 3, Episode 6. I have been really banging out these episodes. I don't know how fast I'm going to be able to edit them and release them, but I have been watching a Black Sales episode almost every day. I think a large part of that is like, this season in particular, I've just enjoyed more than other seasons. I don't know if this season is favored amongst everybody. I'm not sure like what the consensus is. Like usually with shows, everybody has like, a general favorite season, right? I don't know. I think a large part of that is just how good this season has been, at least in my opinion. This has been my favorite season so far. I'm not going to do a recap because you guys really basically know what's going down. At the end of last episode, Flint proposed that they needed to get vain in order to go back to Nassau and take everything back. The only reason that people are taking these pardons is because they believe that there's like not that there's no hope, but they believe that Flint is dead. So Flint believes that people will reverse their decision to take the pardons if he comes back and shows people that he's alive. So I don't know if that's gonna go down this episode, but I guess we will have to find out. So without further ado, let's get into episode six. Welcome to Okra Co. I love that this is happening right now. Holy shit. Well, what'd you think? You mean, aside from the tit curtains? It's called a cravat. You want to fit in with them, right? This is what they wear. They who? Respectable men. I'm sorry, I can't stop staring at her boobs. They're just so there. John Rackham. Oh no. My Lord Governor would like a word with you. I knew it was going to be a mistake for him to stay. This has nothing to do with medicine. It has something to do with medicine. I cannot look weak. Mm. I cannot feel weak. I cannot be weak. And I cannot look the part while being poked and prodded or while drooling through an opium haze saying who the fuck knows what. So I will endure this the way I have been enduring it. Yeah, but he does not look good. No one prepared you for this. The crown is always a burden. But it cannot be born if you cannot stand. Yeah, why doesn't he just let her help him? In private. Otherwise, he's literally gonna die. Maybe this bastard in the storm. I intend to gather forces and move to reclaim Nassau. You know, when I called Nassau home, most of the men on this beach weren't even men. I sailed with Ben Hornigold. I sailed with Sam Bellamy. I sailed with Henry Avery. Then a man arrives. Who would explain to us that what we've been doing was wrong all those years, what Nassau ought to be. Here you are again, to do the same. You let it go. They were pledged to my command, not yours. Do you honestly believe that I would just step aside and let you make that claim? I honestly don't give a shit what you would or would not do. The decision isn't yours. It's his. Oh, shit. Had I been there, we would have mounted the defense that we'd agreed to mount. Had you been there, you would have seen their faces. Nassau is dead. Yeah, but if he... Does he deserve mm. anything else from me or the men on this beach? We are finally free from it. If Flint was there, the and pardons would have the not been taken. At least, I don't think they would have been. So we have one fleet of two men claiming it. No. There's not. only one way I know of to resolve that. No. They're gonna fight? No way. No way. I don't care what you feel you owe him. This is too important to be clouded by any of that. They took my home. I can't walk away from that. Can you? Mm. What happens if he loses? He loses. He's he dead, dies. yeah. Probably given a chance to join the fleet. Fold in and go back on the account. They said your captain was a man worth following. A strong man, a wise man, they said. But right now, I can't tell which side of this contest you prefer to see prevail. <laughs> I think part of the reason I've been able to stand by his side is that I want to make sure I've got a good view of the moment the world finally catches up to him. Hmm. This story starts to make sense again. The parties have further agreed there will be no quarter asked, no given. I don't want either of these people to die. 
Some, something's gonna happen to break it up or stop it. Cock your pistols. From this moment, there's to be no movement until a count of three. One, two, three. <gasps> no way. He's still moving. <clears throat> Where'd he get shot? No way. He's still gonna fight? <gasps> it grazed him. Oh, now they gotta fight with swords? Flint is like significantly smaller than this guy. Oh my god, I can't believe this is really happening. We haven't seen Flint fight in a while. No, no! See, Flint is smaller, but he's quicker. That's his advantage. character. Extremely likable. He actually might be my second favorite character. But I wanted you to know that the end of this may not quite be what you think it is. How's that? When Anne receives your letter and returns here with what remains of the cash, Nassau will be secured and everyone will know that it is because of Jack Rackham. And do you think the story of it will be told long after I'm gone? I know it will. The current story unfolds, I assure you, it's going to get around all on its own. The truth of the matter is, there's been no conquest. Jack, what did you do? Yeah. I sent word to Anne to take the cash and disappear. Oh shit, she killed him! The governor saw your letter to her. You don't think I can convey a thought to Anne, comprehensible only to her, a thought as simple as rum? A thought here or two between the lines, I assure you, she understood. I mean, they've, they've known each other since they were kids. They know each other so inside and out. Duel. English would be not it. Good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What a dynamic duo. And I thought Jack's decision to go back was stupid, but he kind of fixed it. And eventually Spain will raise this place to the ground. The English flag will burn. And a second pirate republic will be born from the ashes of the first. Only this time, every man who calls at home will know it came about because of me. Wow. Wow. That is my boy. Making moves. Jack really fell off for me, too, the last couple of episodes, but he's back. The villain makes the story. So to manage our current partners, we must ensure that we all agree at all times who our common villain is. Mm. Their common villain. Now this guy was a real historical character, I assume, Woods Rogers. Now that they've made it their personal crusade to see this regime fail, and your estimate will be far less optimistic. The longer this drags out, the riskier it becomes. Because if I find that money only to lose the street... You I... will not. If you have me, then you have the street. I don't believe that she would so quickly betray them and work with this dude. I think she's just trying to survive. Max is very much a character that just goes with whoever's in power at the time just to survive. And I respect it, but I, I truly think that she's on Jack and Anne's side. Plus, they can function on their own. They know what they're doing. Before Ocracoke, we came upon a prize. Most of it was destroyed by the time we found it, but among the remains, was one piece of information. Information about what? Money separated from the Urca gold within the fort and rendered into a new form. A cache of gems. 
yeah. Home which Spain is holding the new governor accountable could be the key to defeating British forces in Nazar. Miss Anne Bonnie. Can we find it before he does? No. No. Is that the end? Um, first of all, we need to talk about the MVPs this episode, at least in my opinion. I thought that Jack and Anne were the MVPs. I like this kind of turn of Jack being able to convey a thought to Anne through his writing. Like, even though he, he sent this letter to Anne and it was approved by Woods Rogers, right? That's his name. He still was able to convey to her. They are so connected in that way. He was still able to convey to her the the plan that they were trying to do which was to take out the guy that was supposed to be sent to capture her and run off go hide the gold hide it somewhere as somebody who has liked jack from the beginning and has been rooting for him he has kind of really proven his worth this season especially this episode this episode was like the turning point for his character and i think that he is going to be crucial in the events that transpire throughout the rest of the season i mean i assume that he's going to be crucial because He's essentially gonna gonna be the determining factor of like who, what happens, like the events that are going to happen in Nassau. He really is going to be kind of the deciding factor. I guess he's willing to go through anything for it. I mean, he said that he's willing to be tortured. He's willing to go through anything as long as that gold doesn't find its way back to Nassau. He still has this you know, upper hand on them. He still is one step ahead as long as that gold doesn't reach Nassau and Anne hides herself away. Now, I don't know where Anne is going to go, where she's going to hide the gold, how long she's going to hide it for, but as long as it stays away from Nassau, Jack has the upper hand and Jack is going to be the reason that, you know, the British rule that is occurring right now doesn't succeed in Nassau, um, which is something that Jack really wants. This move, this power move, is going to kind of plant Jack as one of the people, one of the legacies of, of Nassau, one of the people that really helped, I guess, get it back. I'm glad, really glad that he's on the same side as Flint and all of them because his most important thing and his, his kind of character's motivation is having this reputation and this legacy. He really wants to have a legacy and be written down in the history books and I think that this move is going to solidify him in the history books and I'm really happy about that. Jack was definitely the MVP of the episode. I have to give props to Vane too. Um, the whole fight that happened with Blackbeard and Flint, that was a really good fight. I thought that Flint's face, as soon as he fired that shot and it kind of missed, it grazed Blackbeard's face. I was like, oh shit, because Flint was like, oh shit. His face was actually incredible. And then they started to fight, and I guess I shouldn't have underestimated Flint, but he was significantly smaller than Blackbeard. I mean, when you're small, you could be quicker, whatever, but... If Vane hadn't intervened, I don't know who would have won that fight. It seemed like Flint was going down. I think that Flint would have, I mean, he was literally about to get stabbed. So Flint would have been a goner had it not been for Vane. Blackbeard looked really betrayed by Vane for that move. I'm not sure what Blackbeard's true motivations are. I don't know a lot about his character, like, historically. So I'm not sure what's really going on in his head. I don't really know what side he's truly on. I don't know what his motivation is for just suddenly appearing back in Nassau. Maybe he's working undercover for Spain? I really don't know what his motivation is. But I wouldn't be surprised if a twist like that were to surface in the future. Especially after being betrayed by Vane in this fashion. Again. I mean... You know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Yikes. So I imagine Blackbeard is very familiar with that feeling of being betrayed by Vane, but I'm proud of Vane for making that decision because I like Flint, and Blackbeard hasn't really been around for as long as Flint has been, so I haven't really been able to get close to his character. Yeah, he's badass, yeah, he's cool, I really enjoy his character, but he hasn't really done anything to wow me or surprise me or prove his character is worthy of being like liked or respected. I think that he needs to, I just think that he needs a little bit more substance and a lot of that probably lies in the history between him and Vane. We know what happened, we got a little synopsis of it by Eleanor like in 30 seconds, but we haven't really gotten like flashbacks of what really happened. I don't know if we ever are. It seems like this show really likes to talk about stuff that has happened in the past or has transpired 
and give us like quick recaps so that it moves us along. It doesn't really baby us and it allows us to get this information really quickly and allow us to like move forward and just focus on future events rather than history. So all we know, or all I know right now, is that Vane once betrayed Blackbeard for Eleanor, and it seems like it's happening again now with Flint. And not, not seems like it did happen. I also really enjoyed the conversation that Blackbeard had with Flint before the fight even happened. It was almost like he was saying, I respect you, game respect game, but I can't allow you to do what you want to do here. I just can't. I was hoping that it would go down a little bit differently, but... As long as Vane is on board and Vane is with Flint, I have no complaints really. As for predictions for next episode, I really don't know what's going to go down. Oh, Max, I want to talk about Max because I don't know if she's lying when she says that she's going to be on the streets getting information for people for Woods Rogers, but I feel like she is lying because she's been loyal to, to Jack and Anne this entire time. But also I feel like Max is only loyal to people who are in power and who she knows will get her another day of, of survival, I guess. She's just trying to survive out here. So she's really just kissing the ass of whoever's in power, I think, personally. But I could be wrong. She could genuinely be on Woods Rogers' side right now, but I don't. I feel like that goes against everything that Max really stands for, and she's just doing it to survive. So if I had to make any predictions for the next episode, I think Flint's whole storyline needs to start moving along. We have four episodes left of the season. We're really getting down to the home stretch now and I don't really know what to predict I just know shit is gonna go down it is building up to be pretty intense with the whole gold thing now with Jack that just adds a whole nother element that I was not expecting to happen so I kind of can't wait for the next episode so yeah I guess those are all of my thoughts as always thank you guys for watching check out my other reactions if you have not already and I will see you guys for episode 7 all right bye guys